Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Prehistoric Kingdom video. My name is Leaf, and thank you guys once again for stopping by and checking on little old me. Uh, I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, welcome. Hey, my name is Leaf. What's up? Uh, if you do enjoy what's coming, be sure to like, comment, maybe even subscribe. I'm just chilling at the start of the video this time, seeing how that goes. Anyways, so we're back here, back in our little park, which is to be named, and we are doing something that, you know, I've been putting off for a little while. I want, I wanted to give myself some time before I actually started it. I'm doing the volcano. Like, when you think of dinosaurs, obviously, you think of volcanoes too. So that's something I really wanted to throw in here. And you guys can already see me throwing in some, you know, implied lava. And that is all thanks in part to me making the stupid decision of keeping the beta plants in. Not beta, but the uh, pre-alpha plants in. And unfortunately, they did remove those. So you can no longer search for them, so I need to make do with what I have. So I only have those and the baobab trees. And in hindsight, I really should have just kept all of them. But anyways, we are back here doing a volcano we're doing some rock work and it's starting to shape up really nicely i really want to hammer in the sight lines of this one i want to make sure from the minute you enter the park you could see this all the way in the back of the park and i think it turns out really small in the end so here i am i'm just trying to work with like the scaling and stuff and make sure everything looks good everything looks nice and big so that's like the main thing i want to do and I wanted to have it, like, be kind of separate from the rest of it. I didn't really want to blend it in with the rest of the build. And, unfortunately, it did kind of, like, wonk out on me. So you can see me start over over here. Thankfully, the autosave did end up catching, like, all the progress that I did. So that was a real lifesaver right there. I don't know what I would have done if it didn't do that. But it happens a couple more times in this video, and you'll check that out. Uh, I'm going to report it to the devs soon enough. But yeah, so unfortunately that is a thing that did happen. Oh, sorry. But needless to say, here we are just working on the surrounding area. And I did have an idea. I didn't want to just do like a volcano exhibit. I didn't want to do like a volcano and call it a day. I wanted to make it like, you know, a focal point. I wanted to make it like a per... I wanted to give it purpose. And you can see me having to... Uh, close out of it once more but i want to give this volcano a little bit of a purpose you know so i ended up doing a jimji bang which is otherwise known as a korean spa or at least korean inspired so you'll see me start to do that once i do like right here i'm just playing around with like making you know flow fl like flying lava debris i guess is what i could call it and unfortunately, this first one doesn't really turn out too good, so I end up redoing it. But, you know, just want to show you guys that even Leaf makes mistakes. Leaf makes a lot of mistakes. <laughs> but anyways, you can see me start to use, like, some branches. I end up using the uh, Aspen tree instead. But anyways, here we go. You can basically start to see, like, where this idea is going. I have it, like, shoot out, out of the volcano. And I accidentally deleted, like, all the rocks, so I needed to start over. <laughs> this build was just, like, a huge pain in my butt. But in the end, it all turns out really cool. And once we actually get into the spa part, that's when it really starts to shine. So I do a lot of, like, guest scale building in there, and it turns out really awesome in the end. Sorry. Uh, Alright, so here we are. I'm just basically molding my... Uh, debris out to how I want it to be and yeah just using the infinite scaling trick to get a nice big chunk of rock that's going to be flying out of the volcano and I'm like searching through pieces to see what would look best as like you know the debris and you guys can see I use the aspen over here it looks really nice it's you know it's not logical this isn't really too realistic of a park and I did want to have at least like you know an explosion coming out of there so I think it turns out pretty cool in the end, just rotating them, scaling them, making it look nice and buried. And in the end, it looks really cool, especially from, like, far away. I have some, like, cinematic shots in the end where you can actually see, like, you know, like, from the start of the park and, like, where the sight lines come to be. I, like, try and make the sight lines as good as I can. And here I go, starting to get into the spa. 
and it crashes. <laughs> so that's, it's, it's, it's good. You know, this park is getting a little too big, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, needless to say, I'm still having a lot of fun with PK, and I hope you guys are having a lot of fun still watching it. I know, like, the initial hype has died down, and, like, you know, it's fine. We're still, like, working on, like, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, here we are inside the spot, and I just wanted to, like, really use the terrain paints to my advantage. And you can see me start to do, like, the little hot tubs. Not even hot tubs, but, like, the tubs for, like, the spring water or whatever. And I do a couple of those, and I start to dress them up really nice. It looks like a, a pair of iron knuckles or something right there. But here we are just doing, like, the main plaza. So I don't really do any changing rooms, which in hindsight, I really should have. But I implied it with some information booths. And I'll probably go back and redo it. Like, I'm definitely... I have a lot of stuff built up for, like, the uh, redo episodes. And so that'll definitely be on there. But you guys can start to see, like, you know, this nice fencing. Uh, for being right next to a volcano, I want to give this, like, as much of a feel as peace as possible. So I dress it up with a lot of foliage in the end, with a lot of bamboo. And I think it turns out really nice. I was really worried about the save and crashing there. But I think at this point it doesn't really crash anymore. And so I was really confused on scale. So I brought over a T-Rex. I think his name is Aiden, actually. So Aiden's just chilling in the pond. And he's having a nice little spa day for himself. And I'm just decorating the whole thing around him. And I steal the benches from the Bora Bora build. Which, like, it seems like you guys really like that one. It's not doing as good as, as like, you know, all my other ones. But it's still, like, a build that I'm really proud of. So it's really nice to have in there nonetheless. This whole side of, like... The park is going to be a lot more for uh, leisure, and I definitely love seeing that come to be, especially, like, with building up this entire park to be, you know, whatever I want it to be. Here I throw down the uh, information booths, like, because I'm too lazy to <laughs> make my own changing rooms. But here we are doing the sign for it. I love making signs in this game. Like, I went back to uh, the old PZ the other day, and I tried making signs, and it's like... It's fine, but it's nowhere as near as fun as making science in uh, Restore Kingdom. So here we are, ending, you know, our nice little build, just doing a little bit more fencing, doing a little bit more, like, terrain work all around, making it shape up to be really nice. I put in a lot more tropical foliage, make sure it's, like, you know, zen, I guess. I know the word is, it's such a buzzword to use now, but, like, you know, guys know what I mean. It feels nice, it feels peaceful uh i really wanted to do like a rock garden but it didn't really it wasn't in the cards it wasn't in the space either but yeah here i go doing these like spline fences i guess that's what it's called like the whole system they work like a charm for this and i'm really happy that they do but yeah here we go we're about to enter the cinematic so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video be sure to like comment and subscribe most importantly as of recording i'm still you know, hovering around 800, around 900, but if we could get to, like, 1k soon, that'd be awesome. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.